Hello, my name is Ryan Grindall and I'm an SE for Nutanix. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how easy it is to quickly provision duplicate databases from a production instance to multiple environments for testing and QA type purposes on Nutanix. Uh, this is uh, demonstrations taking place on a cropless hypervisor on Nutanix, but the automation demonstrated does apply to other hypervisors on Nutanix, such as ESXi. For this demonstration, we're gonna show you here that uh, if I go to the virtual machines table view, you will see here the production SQL virtual machine running on Nutanix, as well as on the same Nutanix cluster, I have another virtual machine that I would like to, that is running currently running a SQL instance that I would like to make a copy of a database from production on this environment for testing purposes. So if we flip over to the production virtual machine console, you will see the SQL instance here running and we can clearly see we're on production. If I refresh just to show here, you'll see we have the AdventureWorks database running on this uh, virtual machine. So if I flip over to our test SQL instance as well, you'll see here in the databases uh, that we just have the system databases on our test SQL instance. So now leveraging our automation, PowerShell and uh, APIs, uh, we're able to uh, quickly provision, I'll show that here. So what this is gonna do is automate restoring a uh, snapshot of that production database instance and attaching it via iSCSI to my test instance here, and then doing the database uh, attaching as well within SQL to bring that over into SQL. And we'll give it a few seconds to attach. So now you'll see our volumes have appeared, and we can see from the logging functionality that it did attach the database AdventureWorks. So let's go ahead in Studio and refresh it. And now you will see we have a copy of our production database mounted into our uh, test instance. Let's go over to our protection to storage protection or storage volume groups. You will now see that where there's a clone of the production SQL volume group. And if we go in here, we will see that the client IP uh, address is allowed. Now shows 49, which is our test virtual machine and not production. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more.